Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here at Porter Valley Ranch and today's Friday, which means it's time for another episode of Farm Friday here at PVR. So if you're new to our channel, first of all, I want to say thank you for coming. Also, it's a great day to be here. We're going to tell a little bit of our story today. And if you want more about us and other homesteaders like us, we have a really exciting opportunity for our family. About two years ago, we met a lady named Carrie Wilson from the Little Pallet Farmhouse on Instagram. Actually, Rachel met her. Rachel takes care of all the Instagram. Rachel also takes care of everything. <laughs> I just do YouTube. So on Instagram, we met Carrie Wilson and she was doing this thing called the Homestead Documentary. It's a really cool Cool project and two years later here we are so this week is actually the five episode five day free premiere of the homestead documentary there are over 50 families and 20 episodes you can log in today and you can watch the first five episodes for free and we Porter Valley Ranch are actually featured on today's episode we're also going to be on the live later today at 2 p.m. so look in the description below for the link to go watch that documentary and also be sure to check it out at 2 o'clock today because we'll be on with Carrie and with Melissa K. Norris. I'm sure you guys know who she is. So make sure and check that out, but don't do it right now. Make sure you watch the rest of this video and then go check that out. So in the spirit of the Homestead documentary, people are sharing their stories. I know that there are a lot of people who are new to our channel. I know that there are people that don't know our story. So today I just wanted to share a little bit about who we are and why we do what we're doing. So Porter Valley Ranch is me, Josh Porter, my wife Rachel, and my three sons, Zeke, Kai, and Jet. We have lived on our 17 acres for about eight years, but we didn't really do much with our property other than just explore and have fun on our property until COVID hit. When COVID hit, we really decided that it was time for us to take a new journey. The new journey for us was homesteading or what we call hobby farming. So we brought a lot of animals onto our property. We started building our infrastructure, being the fences and pens and barns and things like that. We started buying equipment. Uh, we built a garden. We did all the things that you would consider homesteading to be. So whenever we started doing the farming thing, a lot of people in our regular life asked the question why. And it was a big why because it's what some people perceived as polar opposite of our normal day-to-day -day operations. You see, our main business and our source of income is owning a dance studio and gym and event center in Sepulpa, Oklahoma, which is right off of Route 66 for any history buffs out there. So whenever you live what's considered a city life and then all of a sudden you start buying sheep and goats and pigs and chickens and doing all this farmstead, uh, homestead, farming stuff, people tend to wonder why you're doing it. And contrary to popular belief, it was not a midlife crisis. Um, it was just something that we felt called to do. And now two years later, we definitely know we're supposed to do. So if someone asked me why we homestead, the first reason I would give them is space. Um, our day-to-day -day life involves being around a lot of people, which we love. We're both very social, Rich and I both are, um, but we also enjoy our space. So whenever our third child was on the way, Jet, uh, we lived in a normal neighborhood in town and we decided that we wanted to raise what was going to be our three boys um, with a little bit more room to play and explore. I grew up on a farm in Bartlesville, Oklahoma, so I always had that freedom. Um, I always had the farm life to teach me things, to teach me life lessons, and we knew that we wanted our boys to have a similar upbringing, so we looked for some land that our boys could have space. Once COVID hit, our businesses shut down and we were set for months on end with no income, number one, but also with a lot of free time. And we weren't used to free time because we were used to day in, day out, running our business, managing our customers and doing things for people. So we had a lot of time on our hands. We decided to take that time and bring animals onto our farm. 
If you remember during the shutdown time of the pandemic, it was also a very scary time for everyone not knowing where their next meal was gonna come from. Uh, in our case, we lost our income, but we also lost the stability of being able to go to the grocery store or go to a restaurant or get takeout. And all of those things now seemed really scary. And we really started to see the benefit of being self-sufficient. So the second reason that I would say we homestead is to be self-sufficient. We are able to grow our own food. Rachel has a really big garden and she has plans to expand it this year. We don't grow all of our own food, but we are able to supplement our food through growing fruits and vegetables here on our farm. Um, we have chickens, so we're able to grow our own eggs. And if worst case scenario came true and we weren't able to go to the grocery store and buy our meat, uh, we do have animals that we could slaughter and we would be self-sufficient for our protein as well. Also under the umbrella of being self-sufficient, we saw being on a farm as a path forward financially. We saw that there were ways we could profit off of our property. We saw that there were ways we could profit off of our livestock. We saw that there were ways we could profit off of our knowledge about farming and ranching. So we decided to diversify. We didn't know what was gonna happen with our business. We didn't know what was gonna happen with our family's income. So we saw that as an opportunity to take advantage of our property and our skills and our time to be able to put our financial future in our own hands and be self-sufficient with that also. The third reason that I would say we homestead here at Porter Valley Ranch is because it's our family's hobby. It's something that we are able to do together. It's something that we can teach our children life lessons through. We can teach them business principles and entrepreneurship. We can teach them the responsibility of taking care of other things. Uh, and we can do those things together. It is always fun to teach our kids a new skill. It's also good to see them struggle with learning a new skill and teach them how to overcome that. As I said earlier, I grew up on a farm and I learned life's lessons through that property and through raising animals and through doing things with my family. I saw the world by going to livestock shows and cattle sales and seeing different parts of the United States by doing that. And that's an opportunity that we wanted to give our kids. So now through our farm, we go all over the country to pick up different animals. Uh, we go on day trips and are able to share those here on our YouTube channel. It's a way that we can join together as a family and do something that's a hobby. It provides us fun and leisure, but it also is still a business opportunity for our family. And we are generating income for our family together through our hobby. So for those of you that don't know, my dad is a Baptist pastor, my grandpa was a Baptist pastor, and whenever you're in the pastoring world, other than preacher jokes, you know that everything kind of comes down to some sort of an acronym or something that's easy to remember. So if I had to put our homesteading journey and why we homestead into one of those, it would be three S's. It would be space, it would be self-sufficient, and it would be the sanity that comes through having a hobby here on our farm. So that's why we do it. Um, next week, I'm gonna tell you why sometimes I wish we didn't do it because it's easy to show you guys the good stuff and it's easy to show you the fun because when things are good and where things are fun, you know, you can put them out there and people are, you know, envious and happy for you and all of those things. But there's also a vulnerability that comes from the dark side of farming and homesteading. And I'm gonna share those with you next week because I think it's important that you see all angles. Hopefully if you're watching this, it's because you're also considering starting this kind of lifestyle, which we highly recommend, but we wanna give you all the information. And some of that information is, um, it's hard. And there are some really hard things about it. So we're gonna talk about those next week. But if you guys would do me a favor, uh, make sure and go check out the Homestead documentary. Uh, there are some people that have been working really hard on this thing. It's really cool. We really think you'll like it. So click the link below. Go see that. You can watch those first five episodes for free. And hopefully if you like those, you can sign up for the full package, which gives you all 20 episodes of season one, season two, and then also a lot of free material that goes along with those things. So if you would comment down below and say, I signed up, let us know. And next week, we're going to pick a winner to one of the people who signs up. So comment down below, I signed up, and we will give you a prize if you were selected next week. Thank you guys for joining us here at Porter Valley Ranch. We are really excited about 2023 and all the great things that are going to happen. And we hope that great things are happening for you on your farm as well. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us.